Hey guys, it's Dalton and Rob on a road trip here. Okay. And uh, I think, uh, what, about 70 miles we drove? I think it's like 62 miles to the place we met. Two counties south of where we're at. We're going to have a good day, guys. Hey gang, forgot to do an introduction, so we're going to just jump right into it. Alright guys, Mr. Dalton has a real nice, deep, quiet, high tone here. He really likes this signal. It's like, I think, his second signal of the day. Yeah, we're going to find out if this is Phil or not. Still in the hole? Mm-hmm. Alrighty. We're in an old park, guys. That's about all I'm going to show right there. Did you get out on that last shovel for him? Yep. It's a coin. Is it a weedy? It's a weedy. It is a weedy. Boom! Second signal, weedster. Deep too, guys. Uh, I don't have any toothpicks. Right, hold on. Forty-four. The proverbial forty-four, guys. Yes, it is. There we go, guys. Nice uh, Indian green weedy way down there. Yes, sir. There's there's old stuff here. And this park's been hit before. Well, you go, sir. Good Thank job. You. All right, guys. I had a signal bounce from seventeen to twenty-four. And I know it's not real old, but I just got me an Avon bottle. It still has, that's perfume inside, because I can smell it. And Mr. Dalton calls his second weedy of the day, and it is... 44. Another 44, okay. We're talking about this. Yes, we were. Uh, guys, um, Mr. Dalton's been getting all the quarters today, and his two weedies. I've got the perfume bottle and three clad nickels and a couple zincs. But guys, on a very bouncy 20 signal bump, it's right there, sir. I believe it is an Indian. Oh, I see it. I, I told Dalton I haven't had an Indian it since I've been back Indian. from Missouri. The one side looked pretty wiped. Ooh. What is it? It's a good date. Is it one of my oldest Indians? 1874. Buddy, that's my oldest Indian. That is my oldest Indian any by 70s, far. Any 70s Indian, that's good. Oh, look at that, guys. Make sure my phone's focusing. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. That'll clean up. It came out with a sheen of dirt on both sides, so I, it, it looked like a like an electrical plug, plug out. I couldn't see anything. Wow, nice. Boom, guys. There, my Indian. Uh, that wasn't very deep well, either. No, it was not. All right, folks. My next signal after the Indian on an Indian signal, 1819, is this piece of copper thing. Oh, it's got a. That's got a logo on it. Does that say GE? It's got writing right there, guys. I was thinking maybe this is some type of old typey bottle cap, but this is going to be something... I don't know. All right, we'll clean that up to see if that does, but... Does it say GE 93? Let me zoom. Let me do some zoom a as Pork Rat Pat would say. Yeah, that looks like the old GE... Yeah, that does look like GE. All right, that might be a some type of knob type holder or something. Yeah, that's going to be old. All righty, guys, Dalton just called a 25 weedy. We'll show you that in the wrap up. All righty, guys, right here in between my uh, feet here is my hole next to the picnic table bench I'm sitting on. Guys, I'm pretty sure this is old, even though I know a little bit about, know nothing virtually about buttons. But that is a one piece brass or copper button with a bent over shank. That 
to me that looks old guys that's the same kind of flat button you see guys that are doing 1800s buttons it'd be great if you ever had a phone that just focused but yeah that's a one piece guys obviously it's not military we'll put this on id me and see if anybody knows anything about it all right and well, as i'm showing the button calls another weedy in the same area he's been in where you got the 25 45 all right guys sir. mr dalton calls his oldest coin of the day he missed his mr dalton year by one year but he'll take this because it's even older oh look how clean that back is let's zoom kate on that all right guys it is a 1918 we're not getting the phone to focus today but that is a 1918 we will show you that in the wrap up and the back is just absolutely gorgeous yeah it i can't focus. no it doesn't nice shine fine sir boom all right guys mr dalton he told me to come over and do this tree but i've been doing other work he just got a 1919 weedy right, here. right there it's a six weedy and guys he's calling silver Oh, that's gorgeous. That's absolutely gorgeous. That is, and now he's calling silver. He says it's going to be a 20 Merc. We've got an 18 Weedy, a 19 Weedy, and an 1874 Indian. Yeah, guys, there used to be two old houses that sat here, obviously. Oh, I got some part of a coffee mug. Oh, cool. Yeah, and his, he's got uh, ceramic or porcelain, too. So nice, nice one handed plug, sir. All right, let's see Shiny pop out. still in there yeah it's a 25 26 that's still not bad that's, maybe it could be a barber. that's barber yeah i don't see shiny Duh, ah. not even a weedy all right gang luckily this park's got a nice a lot of picnic tables and i'm sitting in another one and there is my last hole you can see the pin pointer over 10 inches deep and i got a compact or to be more exact i got half a compact so i will run across and see if the other half's still there but there we guys guys we're definitely on some very old ground there used to be two houses here all righty all right, gang, there's Mr. Dalton sitting over on his truck. He's already ungeared. I had a sandwich. I'm working my way to him. And I'm just getting clad, guys. Got my first quarter. Got a surface dime. Got another dime about three inches. Got a zinc. I'm like, I'm already at 46 cents. I get another dime signal here. And, guys, unbelievable. Two inches down, 25, 26. I get my first weedy. And, guys, Dalton's already gotten two or three of them. 1944. The proverbial 44, my first weed of the day, outstanding as I'm going back to the truck. All right, guys, Dalton and I have switched to an old permission of mine that we never finished the backyard. I just got that. Oh. It is all copper. It's got four stars on the ends. I don't know, maybe a picture frame. I don't know. I don't know. But it's old. Um, yeah. yeah, we just got into a, uh, we just got what, told we were rude for detecting on a curb strip. Yeah. Very unchristian like Christian gentleman who had all these everyone's welcome god loves you signs on his house doesn't love us though all right i've never done this backyard so we're doing it now hey gang here's my next find a few feet from the other one it is a skeleton key escutcheon or front plate or something total uh total brass or copper so it's mr dalton's days for weedies and my days for relics so i will take that guys boom all righty guys we've been hunting all day today it's probably close to five o'clock Neither one of us has silver. Dalton's probably got eight, nine Wheaties. I've got the one plus the Indian. And I got a signal here, guys. Underneath that route, I couldn't get to it, guys. And I called Dalton over. I said, there is a perfect silver signal there. I said, I just can't get my shovel through there. So Dalton persevered. His back doesn't hurt like I do. And sure as heck, guys, I don't know how we're going to split a Rosie, but Dalton dug my signal. And we have a 52 Rosie. And that thing is absolutely beautiful. I called it, and he dug it. Yeah, how so, does that work? I don't know. <laughs> Okay, guys, we each got a half a silver. <laughs> All right, guys, you can see the sun setting there. I'm still here in this backyard where Dalton and I got the joint dime not far away. And I was wondering why the front of this memorial penny didn't look right. Well, it's because it's not a memorial. It's Queen Elizabeth with a 
maple leaf on the back and it says 1977. Well, since it's been a slow day, guys, I will show you this 1993 rabies tag shaped like the county we're in. Well, guys, sunsets in Florida don't get any more beautiful than that. The sun just dipped behind those trees, but it was a beautiful orange orb. Just another perfect winter day here in Florida at 71 degrees. <laughs> Hey gang, Future Rob here. Sorry we didn't do a wrap up including Dalton's uh, eight or nine Wheaties and his few other good finds, but for some reason we didn't do a wrap up together. So here's my finds guys. And like I say, he got eight or nine Wheaties. All right. Hey folks, since this video is a little short for uh, Monday digs, uh, here's a small uh, curb strip hunt I did on my own and uh, got some got some good finds off that short bit of time. Alrighty. Alrighty guys, it is uh, Friday the 20, 20, 21st, I can't remember. Um, I'm out here doing some curb strips in a little town near Denise's. Got some nice wide sections right here. And guys, I've gotten one uh, 71 penny, a bunch of trash, and I got a 22 cent on the Knox here, which is a bottle cap 99% of the time but guys a half an inch down just barely had to scrape the dirt right there and look at that I am on a ring tear now I was hoping it was silver because it's got a little bit of weight but you can see if that was silver plating it's just wearing down to the copper now and one stone is out but guys another ring that's three this week for me all right alrighty guys I've moved up from that section way down there the second section my thumb is finger is that's where I got the uh, ring Nothing here. Come up here, I got a real solid, strong 23, but not like overbearing like it was a can that I got a few minutes ago. And guys, it took me two shovelfuls, but uh, that dark greenness came out, and I said, that has got to be a weedy. And it is a beautiful wheatster. All right, let's see what the, uh, let's see what the date is. Oh, it's the Mr. Dalton favorite year, guys. I just got a hundred and three year old coin off a of curb strip, guys. Boom, you can do this without door knocking. Look at that off a curve strip. Okay. Alrighty guys, I've finished up. Um, and I have a Minardo story to tell you. And it's not just a Minardo story, it is because I am a Minardo. I did the curb strip all the way up to where those uh, small palm bushes are. I did get a quarter spill underneath that nearest tree right there. Uh, two quarters, a nickel and a penny. But I didn't get anything more old. Guys, I come back to the truck, empty out my uh, finds bag, no ring. No flipping ring. The wheat penny's in there, but the ring's not. So guys, I had to get out and walk the entire area that I've metal detected looking for the ring. I got back up there into the shade where I got the 1919 Weedy, and there it was in the dirt next to where the 1919 Weedy was. I must have uh, turned my pouch enough, just enough when I put the Weedy in that the ring fell out. What a Minardo. But guys, I did get a really nice 2627 signal that I found that I didn't see with the detector. And guys, I thought this was gonna be a Schrader Model T valve nut. I don't think it's a Model T, but I think this is still an old valve cover, dust nut cover. It's got a uh, rubber washer in it, so it's not going to be as old as probably a Model T. But uh, that does look like a uh, valve stem uh, dust nut cover. And then there's the ring, guys. And then this beautiful 1919 Weedy with the uh, with some wheat line still in the back. That, that's a nice find, guys. Alrighty, that's a nice little curb strip hunt, guys. We're going to go see if we can find some more curb strip.